Hello, my name is Michael Affenzeller and I'm working as a professor for heuristic optimization and machine learning at the University of Applied Science, which is located in the software park Hagenberg for more than 15 years already. Uh, in doing so, I'm teaching those topics and I'm also responsible for a research group with special focus on heuristic optimization, machine learning, uh, meta heuristics, uh, which has uh, around 20 full time employed researchers. Well, the topic which I would like to introduce you today is uh, prescriptive analytics and in its impact to industrial 4.0 applications with a special focus on the automotive area. If we have a look about the different stages of analytics, the prescriptive stage is the fourth one, but it builds upon the predecessor stages. You, you cannot do prescriptive analytics without uh, considering the descriptive stage, the diagnostic stage, or the predictive stage. So as you cannot uh, shape the future if you don't know about, about the past and, and the present. And if you want to do so, there's a lot of uh, scientific disciplines and methodologies behind which are essential of doing this analytics toolkit. And the fourth stage, the pre prescriptive analytics stage, mainly couples and hybridizes the field of data science, machine learning, with simulation and optimization in order to uh, bring back the findings and the benefits which we can achieve in the digital world uh, back to the real world. So it's some kind of re analogization one, one could say. And as there are so many scientific disciplines in, in, involved, if you want to use this analytics uh, toolkit uh, and its power, uh, it's possibly too much for a single institution, which makes it very, very well suited uh, for a place like the Software Park Hagenberg, where we have many different research groups and university research depart department, non-university research uh, department, like uh, comet centers or uh, companies, which are somehow on the interface between, between research and, and applications with a range of expertise, which, uh, which uh, is essential for, for doing prescriptive analytics in a, in a rather holistic way. In order to uh, show you about the potential benefits, I will start with a very brief example. Uh, consider consider the situation that we we have to uh, buy new tires for, for our cars. For example, in a couple of months, it will be about a selection of winter tires. Maybe you uh, read up some, some car magazines about tests, what, what is the performance in under rainy conditions, what is the performance in snow, what's about energy efficiency, what's, what's about uh, noise uh, which is produced by the tires. So there are many different characteristics which uh, make a tire better or, or not so good. And the companies who produce tires have a lot of research uh, for optimizing the recipes for for the rubber compound and there's a lot of gained experience but still also a lot of, of testing and, and playing around with the different uh, parameters and the idea of, of, your, uh, uh, of producing uh, of using prescriptive analytics here would basically mean that uh, you have a lot of, of data for from past uh, tests which you have been made under laboratory conditions, under test bench conditions, and then you use machine learning systems in order to learn the quality characteristics 
uh, of your of your recipes and then you couple all this with optimization in order to learn optimized process parameters optimized recipes so to say in order to uh, reach certain certain targets of this multi-objective optimization problems a similar problem which i uh, like to give as an example very frequently because it's a typical example of uh, of team play as we like to do it um, in the software park hagenberg uh, involved our the research department of the Austria university of applied science and the, the comet center uh, SCCH, the Software Competence Center Hagenberg, and also the RISC Software GmbH, who is responsible for the embedding in an overall software system of our company partner, MIBA, also in the, in the automotive range. The question here was uh, how to make data-based models, uh, how to produce data-based models for the prediction of friction system for the performance prediction of, of uh, friction systems. Again, as before, the usual way of doing would be to do extensive tests on test benches. And with the data-based approaches, we try to learn from the data from, from the test bench, uh, from the test bench, which has have been gained in the past to build predictive models for the for the quality parameters of, of a certain friction friction system in order to do design optimization and go back to the test bench already with with the prototype and do a lot of the design stage in the virtual world and have a concrete uh, have a uh, and to have a concrete product design which is only validated then on the on the test bench if it works if it works quite quite well and as you can possibly imagine there are many very similar situations out there not only in the automotive uh, sector every time when you have a process design to be to be optimized or a product design to be optimized where you have a certain bunch of, of parameter settings which influence the, the quality output uh, the combination of data-based modeling techniques machine learning coupled with uh, simulation and optimization shows a lot a large potential thank you very much for your interest